So welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis of, of the commodities market of all the commodities that are available on over at eToro. So I have been locked into basically been trading the last day or two because all of the noise in the market. And usually I just stay away from the market when uh, big pronunciations are of, uh, for example, in this case, uh, vaccines and so on, which... Uh, well, there's no end in sight. This is a, the is a, is a basically daily occurrence that there is a new vaccine, and then you get the market going absolutely haywire. But uh, you can also look at the U.S. dollar, and that has also been very haywire today. We broke down significantly to ninety one point ninety five, and then rallied again all the way up to ninety two point seventy. And of course, this had massive effects on oil massive effect on on, 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 on on gold and uh, also indices and so on. At this point, I think that we are going to see a rally towards the 50. If that is going to be the case, then we will see uh, oil fall. We'll see uh, gold fall all the way down probably to the 1800 level. So there, was our, there are a few uh, interesting trades that we we're basically going to witness. If we break the 50, then we are going significantly higher and that will pressure everything further down. So pay attention to the US dollar index. So we'll start by looking at oil. We can see that we have rallied, but at this point, I think that we are going to find major resistance here at, uh, at, this air, at this price level. If this breaks, then we'll go all the way to 35, 45, I mean, and also probably to 50. Uh, there's no particular reason why we should do that. And there's no, no more demand uh, at this point than it was back here. Uh, but probably optimism and pure speculation can drive this uh, very high. But I do expect a lot of resistance at this area and a lot of uh, sellers coming in, pressuring this all the way down to the 50 moving average. So that is basically a trade that I'm thinking to do. Uh, is if we see a pullback from here from the uh, all time highs, I'll have a stop loss around this area and then I'll target the 50 moving average. That is my plan for oil. So we look at natural gas. We can see that we uh, continue to rally up towards the 50. However, we need to break the 50 and also break the top of this candlestick in order to confirm that we are going to go higher. Technical indicators for natural gas are turning around, but at this point, the 50 moving average is more of a, uh, is more of resistant than support. So when we get to the 50 moving average, that will act as resistant and it will pressure the price down. So we have been trending downwards for quite some time now, and this could be just a, a minor pullback towards the 50 and then fall further. Uh, if we fall further, then we'll hit the uh, target uh, to uh, $2.5 dollar range. And uh, if that breaks, then we'll go all the way down to the 200 moving average. Um, I've tried this trade before, as I said many times, tried to catch this. It never really works. Best thing to do here is basically to find a major support to see when it basically turns around and then start buying it again. And the opportunity to buy here was here, but it broke down, broke through the 50 and then there is no more trade. So this is basically just to wait what happens to natural gas. So copper did what I expected it to do. It uh, it fell when we reached these highs of 3.3. And at this point, I think that we're going to see something similar to this now. There'll be a lot of choppiness. It will go back and forth, back and forth. But the trend will go towards the 50 moving average. And the reason why I say that is because the CCI and the RSI are turning around. And we only need the stochastic and the MACD to turn around as well, and then we'll see something similar to this. So if that is the case, then you could basically have a stop loss right above here, uh, above this level, uh, so around the 3.4 uh, 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 or something like that, and then you target 
3.08 or the 50 moving average. Um, that is a probable uh, probable trade if we see this starting to decline gradually along the, the 50 moving average. So if you look at gold, so this is becoming interesting. I have been waiting for this fall for a very long time. So my idea for gold is to enter here at 1800. I'll have a stop loss underneath here around this area. And then I'll target basically the all-time highs. So that is the trade that I'm thinking about doing. It most likely will go higher, but I think when we get to the all-time highs, it will basically start uh, pulling back significantly. So you could put, basically put this uh, stop loss uh, further. Uh, that is up to you how much risk you are willing to take. But if we turn around here at 1800, then we will most likely go to these all time highs. It will be a lot of buying coming in at this area because people have been waiting for that for a very long time. Technical indicators for this are looking very bearish still. So we'll mostly get there, but it will take some time still. So you look at silver, it is very similar to gold. We broke down at this point. We only need to break this area 23.42 uh, in order to go significantly lower. I mean, all the way down here, 21, and probably towards 20 or the 50 moving average. And yet again, uh, yet again here, if that were, were the case, that we get all the way down to 20, I would have a stop loss underneath this area here, and then I would target to these old time these very high here at $29. So that is basically what I'm looking at at this point. So no interest in basically entering this until we get to that point. So we look at platinum. We have started to decline as expected. We will most likely head towards the 50 moving average. If that is uh, resistant and turn around from there, then of course, it's possible to have um, a stop loss underneath the 50 and target these very highs here of the 964. So it is possible. It is not a trade that I'm going to do because this market is absolutely hopeless and, and I don't like trading this whatsoever. It has, it was fairly predictable here, but it's still the moves were uh, just uh, horrendous. Uh, but at this point, we'll most likely fall towards the 50. A break below the 50 opens the door to the 200. And then there is a probable buy here because there's so much resistance and you know, support underneath that the, 20, uh, the 200 moving average will most likely hold. And then you can buy it here and target these highs. So if you look at palladium, palladium, we can see that we have broken to the 50 moving average and now it's starting to look very interesting. Uh, at this point, target of the very high zero of 2.5, that is probable, and with a stop loss around this area here. So underneath this, um, this uh, candlestick. So if we get another green candlestick here, that is probably a, a sign that we are going to these highs again. And uh, if you break down, then of course there is no trade, but we'll see what happens in this market. Stop loss here, target of this high. So if you look at aluminum, we can see that we have started breaking down. Um, it is probably a trade that you could do uh, that you have a stop loss above here and then you target the 50 moving average, which will be around this area. So 1.848 will most likely be the target because these are the previous highs here and the 50 moving average will move this way. Technical indicators for aluminum are looking dreadful at this point. So this is a market that is very overstretched and will mostly go significantly lower at this point. A rally up from here will most likely find a lot of resistance at these highs at 1.995. Uh, 1 so let's look at uh, nickel. 
we can see that there's a lot of choppiness here. Uh, we have the very highs here. So at 16, uh, and we could expect major support at the 50, at uh, 50 moving average at 15.2. So if we fall from here, then the 50 moving average will act as support and you can basically buy this. At that point, you should put a stop loss right here and you should target these very highs. So if we pull back from the 50 here, stop loss is right underneath that candlestick and uh, we would target these very highs in the beginning. So that is basically the trade that is possible at this point for nickel. So if you look at sugar, we can see that we started our pullback and the same goes for here. If we pull all the way towards the 50 moving average, which is highly likely, we will put a stop loss here at 0 0.1377 and we will target these very highs. So fall back towards the 50, it will be around this area here at 14.27 14, uh, and target these highs with a stop loss underneath here. Technical indicators for this are turning around, so this will fall um, most likely within the next day or two. So, but this is the trade that I have in mind. So if we look at cotton, We can see that we have taken off significantly. At, at this point, it is not tradable. Uh, we need a pullback towards the 50 in order to enter this market. If that were the case, then I would have a stop loss here, and then I would target the very highs again around here. But at this point, we need a pullback towards the 50 in order that, to, to, that to happen. Um, technically, there are turning around for cotton, but still, this is not um, not on my radar at this point. I don't want to trade this whatsoever. We should have entered a, a buy here and then target these highs, but it went way over the highs. So that is a market, that is a trade that I did miss uh, in last week's trade. So if we look at Koa, so now it starts to look interesting again. This is, um, a market that got absolutely parabolic, and mainly due to the main uh, to the massive demand for the holiday holiday season and uh, the cuts that were in in this area here back in in July. So, what we're looking at at this point, we need a pullback towards the fifth, uh, first Fibonacci retracement that is around two point five. That is your first target. It could go all the way down to two point five. That is possible because we have the 50 moving average here and so on. That is possible. But at this point, we don't see exhaustion from this candlestick. We see exhaustion from the CCI, but that's about it. So we need a very negative candlestick in order to confirm that we are going lower. And when we go lower, we'll probably find support here, 2.6. That is deal. But a fallback towards the Fibonacci retracements, that is possible. So our trades should be based on those pullbacks. So you could sell it towards the 50, the 38, that is possible. But my entry to this market would be the 50. It would be here. And I would put a stop loss underneath the 50 moving average around that area here. And then I would target these highs again. So it is possible to sell it all the way down here and then enter a buy to, uh, to buy it back up. That is a possible trade and that's what I'm looking for at this point. So wheat is the only trade I did today. Only trade I did today, it rallied uh, quite significantly, found the resistance here at 603 and then pulled back again to 599. I put a stop loss underneath here around this area and then I'm targeting these very highs. At this point, technical indicators for cotton and now wheat, I mean, are turning around, especially the CCI is going to turn positive now and that is going to rally this significantly. I think that we'll at least go to 614 and probably to 625. If that happens, it will most likely also go to 630. Seven. That is the all-time highs here. Uh, but it is to be seen. It is looking very good at this point. But 
I do have a stop loss underneath here and I'm going to keep that in place. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to uh, write to me, ask, you, ask me if you have questions about your trades and uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.